It's a new technology that promises to make drinking water safer for hundreds of millions around the world. Sushanta Mitra, a professor of mechanical engineering at the University of Alberta, has developed a system for quickly detecting E. coli bacteria in water sources, instantly spreading the word to vast numbers of people through cell phone networks. From any water source, be it well, water, tap water, we take 100 ml of water, put it into our M water kit. If there is an E. coli, it will do a color change on that kit on the sensor surface and that sensor surface we take an image with our cell phone which has an app running E. coli app and then that image is get transmitted to a server which will tell to the end user that there is an E. coli outbreak if there is and if there is not it is safe to drink the water and so on. Typically, a uh, traditional system will take 24 to 48 hours, but our technology, based on the level of contamination, anywhere between 2 minutes to 20 minutes, we can detect. Mitra and his team have successfully completed two field trials in small, impoverished communities just outside the city of Mumbai in India. The next step is to test it inside India's most populous city, where it could impact millions. In April, we are going into a municipality in Mumbai where it is millions of people are accessing the water and we want to show that this technology is equally applicable to not only to the small communities but as a scale-up operation for municipalities as well. We're talking about uh, you know close to 400, 500 millions of people in these kind of large countries like India, China and so on. Through a U of A-sponsored initiative called Engage North, Mitra is now also introducing his E. coli detection system to Canada's northern communities, where clean, safe water is often as hard to come by as in developing countries like India. We are trying to connect our undergraduate students, our graduate students with the communities in the north. So last summer we have a lot of interaction with the community in Pentington and Nunavut. And right now we are working with two more communities, Dene communities. It has a huge amount of impact in terms of public health. Access to clean and safe drinking water is a global problem. And what we are doing, we are empowering those bottom billion people, telling that they, they can individually can decide what water is safe for them.